Yep, it happened again. A left-wing couple travelled to a dangerous country to spread love. They ignored government warnings that violent crime and terrorism were commonplace. And they ended up being abducted and possibly killed. Now, the following is unconfirmed, but it's circulating on social media. Apparently, Edith Blace, a Canadian citizen, posted a picture of herself on Facebook holding an Iraq sign in Arabic alongside the following words. Hitchhiking Iraq. I just wanted to share that there is love and warmth everywhere in the world. You just need the wisdom and courage to reach out and grasp it. Open your minds and hearts. We are the people showing others that the world is a place in which solo females can travel to its far corners. Happy 2019. Let's hit the road. She hit the road with her boyfriend traveling through Mali and Burkina Faso with the intention of reaching Togo to carry out environmentalist activist work. They ignored a government travel advisory warning to avoid all unnecessary travel to Burkina Faso. They travelled there despite a 2016 Islamic terror attack in the country's capital that killed six Canadians. They ignored a government travel warning to, quote, avoid all travel to Mali due to the severe threat of terrorism and violent carjackings. They ignored a Global Affairs Canada warning that armed criminals don't hesitate to shoot at vehicles to stop and rob their occupants. Such incidents can happen, day or night, on both main and secondary roads. On December December 15th, all communications with their families abruptly ceased, and the couple have been missing ever since. They were likely kidnapped and held for ransom, if not murdered in cold blood. Two more victims of cultural relativism. The quixotic, progressive, utopian fantasy that all cultures are equal, and that our negative view of some parts of the world is just a manifestation of our own inherent racism. But the reality is quite different. Not all cultures are equal. Some cultures are better than others. Not all countries are safe. Some countries are safer than others. The most dangerous countries in the world are almost exclusively located in the Middle East and Africa. Don't believe me? Just look at any list. The Middle East and Africa. The same two continents from which Europe is accepting millions and millions of migrants. And while leftists like CNN's Anna Navarro can file their nails and roll their eyes, the fact remains. This is why we have borders, to keep out violent criminals and terrorists. Borders work. Walls work. Walls work. But if you import people from violent cultures and dangerous countries, then your own society is going to become more violent and more dangerous. You can't argue with that fact. Now, obviously, this isn't to say that you should just live like a hermit in fear and never travel anywhere. But if you visit violent, crime-ridden, poverty-stricken countries as a Westerner, with the pie-in-the-sky belief that everyone is as tolerant, open-minded, and peaceful as progressives make out, with the urge to vacation in shithole countries just so you can come back and virtue signal about it to all your lefty friends, then eventually you're gonna run into trouble. And it's not just anecdotal evidence that strongly suggests these people put themselves at risk because of their erroneous, innate, progressive beliefs. There's science to back it up. A study by the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, reported on by Scientific American, found that conservatives are more attuned than liberals to assessing potential threats. How many more examples of this do we need to see before liberals accept that their utopian view of the world is a complete self-delusion? Two Scandinavian tourists who went hiking in Morocco, one of whom posted an anti-Islamophobia video and urged her followers to not judge people by their appearance, raped and beheaded by Islamic terrorists. Swedish supporter of multiculturalism and a strong advocate of mass immigration, member of a Facebook page called we like diversity, raped and killed by an Ethiopian immigrant and dumped in a forest. Left-wing American couple who cycled through the Middle East and the Balkans, wrote blogs about how evil is a make-believe concept born out of Westerners' bigoted views of other cultures, mowed down and stabbed to death by Islamic terrorists. Italian performance artist who said she would hitchhike from Italy to the Middle East to, quote, send a message of peace and marriage between different peoples and nations. Raped and strangled 
to death. Belgian psychologist who worked with failed asylum seekers in Sweden to prevent their deportation. Mowed down by a truck driven by a failed asylum seeker in Sweden. Liberal activist who travelled to Haiti to raise awareness about violence against women while decrying the racism of Westerners towards black men. Held on a rooftop and repeatedly raped by a black man. Female interpreter working on a documentary about the plight of vulnerable refugees. Raped by refugees. There are more examples in my previous video which is linked in the description. Evil exists in the world. Danger exists in the world. And those two things are more likely to exist in certain parts of the world than others. And just because the BBC or The Guardian or MSNBC or The Huffington Post tells you that such beliefs are only held by racists doesn't make them any less true. Projecting your own fanciful, progressive worldview onto other cultures doesn't eliminate the negative aspects of those cultures. It only increases the chance of you becoming another victim. Owen Schroyer here for InfoWars.com, and I want to tell you guys about a great product that we have, and it is the Knockout Sleep Aid Formula. Now, I've got my knockout right here, and we're going to take it, and we're going to look at the actual results of the Knockout Sleep Formula in real time. So let me take my knockout first. But while we're waiting to see the effects of the knockout, I've got some very, very, very important news that I want to get to. InfoWars Life wants to bring you a sleep support formula that goes above and beyond other leading brands at an affordable price. Get the sleep you deserve and experience the power of knockout. Head on over to InfoWarsLife.com and say goodbye to fatigue. That's InfoWarsLife.com.